The southern tip of Africa is notorious for fearsome storms, but more hauntingly, it's the location of a South African maritime mystery, the legend of the Flying Dutchman, a doomed phantom ship with a ghostly reputation amongst sailors for centuries. Sailors didn't like the Cape Coast at all. There was no natural harbors uh, where one could hide from storms or anything. You were out there at the mercy of nature. So it was the ideal city for the legend of the uh, Flying Dutchman. The treacherous stretch of sea off the coast of South Africa became known as the Cape of Storms because of its unpredictable weather, strong currents, and rocky outcrops. Because the sea is so treacherous in that area. The Benguela current and uh, the Mozambique current meet each other there. The one is cold water and the other one warm water, and it generates fog, so it's often suddenly there's a, a fog bank. You can't see anything. From the 1500s, ships used the route around the Cape to sail from Europe to Asia. According to legend, Dutch captain Willem van der Decken steered his ship through a treacherous storm. This captain had to sail around the Cape Point on his way back to the Netherlands. And the weather was terrible, so he went into the storm. And he never made it to the land. Captain van der Decken never made it to port. From that moment on, tales of a fast-moving ghost ship appearing as a glowing light have been reported for centuries. The most recent sighting was in 1941 off a Cape Beach. And out of the fog, the ship appeared, and everybody thought this ship was going to run a, a ground. This ragtag sailing ship, and the next moment he disappeared. Some say that seeing the Flying Dutchman is a sign of horrible misfortune. It will mean some unfortunate event is going to happen. There's going to be some dreadful accident or something like that. Even British royals, King George V and his brother, Prince Albert, have claimed to have seen the Flying Dutchman. They made it a journey by sea around the Cape to Australia. They said that they encountered the Flying Dutchman at four o'clock in the morning near Sydney. Records of both crew and the ship are steeped in mystery. It wasn't the ship named the Flying Dutchman, almost certainly not. The captain's name, Hendrik van der Dekken, is not mentioned in uh, Dutch East India Company records. So there was no captain of that name. The Flying Dutchman has inspired movies, operas, and novels, as well as struck fear in the hearts of sailors throughout history. But all that remains is a mystery about a ship doomed to sail the oceans forever. Catch brand new mystery shows all this month on the History Channel.